Hi everybody, this is Diana K and I'm coming to you all with a makeup tutorial as well as uh, my dedication to a PCOS which stands for Polycytric Ovary Syndrome because this September is their awareness month and since I suffer from this, I want to do an awareness video. And I'm going to do a teal tutorial because that is the color of the ribbon for for polyosis, polycystic ovary syndrome. And my earrings are teal. My bow, it might be a little more uh, on the turquoise color, but I'm going to say it's teal. <laughs> um. I don't want, feel like going to get any of my other palettes, so I'm going to use my trusty, du I said trusty dusty, my trusty palette that I have in the bathroom already. Um, this is a green color. But I'm going to use it to prime my eye. And this is the, um, what is the name? Shiny Precision Liquid Eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this to prime my eye. This video might be long, y'all, but I'm going to try to hurry up and do the video. I mean, do the tutorial so I can just tell you a little bit of facts on the disorder. And I hope y'all can see me. I put this camera as close as I could onto my face. And... Um, Pink Mini, I know we was talking about when I was going to do this video. You said you never seen the features that I was talking about on my face. Yes, I have a dark mask. And it's, it doesn't show up as clear as it does in person. But you can see the dark circles on my cheek and under my chin and it actually some days I'm darker and it actually connects and it goes down and that's why it's considered a dark mass and if you all don't know that's that's another reason why my voice is as deep as it is um I'll give you some more facts when I'm done doing the makeup work and I already primed my eyes, so I'm going to use this color right here. I guess I'm going to have to use my finger. Y'all, it's going to be a really short tutorial. And just because of the awareness, I'm just going to do a short teal look. And I'm going to do my lips teal too. I was just going to do the makeup and come on camera and just tell some awareness facts. But I was like, I might as well just do it on camera. And I'm going to use another trusty makeup palette. I just got all my makeup. My mama brought me my box. But I still don't want to use my palette. 
Yes, y'all, I am crazy. I'm trying to make it a little bit more clear. I mean, teal by using the blue color. I'm gonna apply this to my lips and this is the Nivea Nivea Kiss of Milk and Honey I'm just gonna apply this to my lips so they won't break out uh, using the eyeshadow And y'all never try to put them twinkle twinkle palettes on your lips. It's not a good a good feeling. Not at all. Cause they have glitter in it. I know some of these eyeshadows got glitter in it, but they're a little bit more, a little bit more hard. I mean, a little less harsh. And this is my teal look. Big old head. Okay, you guys. Um, I want to tell you some facts about this. If you're somebody who may have the symptoms, you might know, or if you're somebody who suffers from this, um. A little signs you'll know what to expect if you're going through this um these tips might be helpful not, not these tips these facts may be helpful um okay what is polycitric citric, citric ovary syndrome um it is a health problem that can affect a woman's menstrual cycle which it does uh, it affects the ability to have kids. It affects the ability to not the ability to is it, I mean it it affects your hormones. It affects your heart. It affects your blood vessels. It it affects your appearance. And I all my face wasn't like this two years ago but when I noticed something was wrong with me I just didn't know what it was and I was too afraid to tell anybody I was 19 when I first noticed that something was wrong and but I didn't tell anybody I didn't find out what I had until I was 24 um and it says with PCOS women typically have high levels of estrogen. Um not um yeah estrogen. Um 
I don't know if that's right. And this is, and these are some things that cause male hormones through females also make them miss or have it irregular periods and monthly bleeding. Um, yes, I bleed all the time. Sometimes I might not have a period for six months straight, but I'll bleed sometimes. Sometimes I can bleed the whole six months. Not a day missing. Um, and it says how many women have PCOS between 1 in 10 and 1 in 20 women of the childbearing age. Um, family women in the US a may be affected it occurs in girls as young as 11 years old and it says what causes PCOS they don't know what causes it but they say it could be genetic um it could be that you you're in a, a environment don't you don't want to adapt to or can't adapt to um, it says it, they said is the cause is unknown, but it is most experts think that several factors, including genetics, may play a role. Women with PCOS are most likely to have a mother or a sister with PCR. I don't have a mother or a sister. My mother, uh, my sister, suffer from heavy periods but she doesn't have this and need to do my mom um um y'all I'm so unprepared and I don't want this video to be so long but I just want to show my respect for this awareness um this is the month of it the ribbon is teal that's why I did the teal look and it could cause acne it could cause excessive hair growth it could cause weight gain it could cause problems with your ovaries it could cause pelvic pains it could cause um pain in your stomach it could make you gain weight on your stomach like every morning I may be lucky if I don't wake up with my belly 20 pounds heavier feeling like it's 20 pounds heavier it might be 10 5 to 10 more pounds heavier and it's painful or sometimes I, I wake up with pelvic pains I don't think I will be able to ever have a child cuz I don't just have PCOS. I have this functional urinal bleeding. So, I, I don't think it's possible that I ever have a child. Um, it could cause cysts on your ovaries. Acne, oily skin, and dandruff. Yes, I have. I don't have oily skin. But, I do have acne. I do have dandruff. And I don't want to know, understand why my hair is always itching. My scalp is always itching. No matter what I put on it. I could put on Suffix 8, how you say that. I can put um, mouthwash. I can put all that on there. And the next day, it's back itching. Um, And most women with this, they might be obese. I yes, I am obese. And as you can tell, my voice has changed. Um, it's just crazy that you can wake up one day and be different, and not know what's going on. You just know that you're different. And if you are suffering from any signs from acne. Obsessed with bleeding, hair going everywhere. 
um, pelvic pains, stomach pains. You just gain weight for no reason. And no matter how much you try and you can't get pregnant, you might want to ask your doctor about this. And it, it's, it's just crazy because it causes you to be have anxiety. I, I suffer from that. Depression, I suffer from that. My doctor actually asked me if I wanted to take medicine for my depression. I'm like, no. I don't want to be any worse than I am. Um, it's just crazy. It causes sleep apnea. I have that. I have everything that all the features that it says you can get. I have it. And I try not to let it bring me down. I try to smile. I try to not get so angry. I don't want to have a stroke because I'm I'm worried about this. I'm worried about why won't I stop bleeding? Why is I'm dripping puddles of blood? It's harder. And then when I do eventually come on my period, it's nothing good. Like blood dripping down your legs because it's so, so heavy because you haven't came on a period in so long or your period is so bad because of that. Just talk with your doctor if you have any of these signs. Um... I just wanted to show my support for all the, the other women who have suffered from this. I I congrats whoever has been able to have a baby from this. Not from this. Who has ever had, was able to have a baby. And I wish other women who want children, who have this, that can't get pregnant. I wish you the best. I wish that you, God blesses you with a baby. And you guys, thanks for watching. Bye.